you will learn how you can preserve the client IP address using external traffic policy. So when that policy is set to cluster, then the IP address that you will get from the customer or from the client is actually the IP address of the node VM. So that's not the real IP address. However, when you change external traffic policy to be local, then the remote IP address that will be shown is going to be the real IP address of the client. Let's see how that works. For this demo setup, I have created this uh, GitHub repository and within the folder 570, you will find all the files that we'll be using and all the YAML and the script files that we'll be using for this demonstration. And to start with here, I have created a new AKS uh, cluster, but you can use an existing one if you want. And the cluster is in my Azure subscription right here. And then I'll take it from here. So I have cloned that project on my local machine. And here I'll be using the PowerShell script in order to continue with the demonstration. So we have connected to our AKS uh, cluster. We can see the three nodes. And then what we'll go to do here is that we'll go to expose a service of type load balancer. For that, I'll use this uh, YAML deployment file that contains a deployment. The deployment here will be using the inspector gadget uh, image that will show information that it gets from the client because here we want to see what the application can see inside the client uh, request and then we'll expose that uh, deployment through a service of type load balancer and that will use by default the external traffic policy of type cluster great let's deploy that uh, uh, deployment using kube control apply dash f and then let's make sure that the uh, deployment that the pods was created successfully. It will take a second for the public IP address to be populated. Let's try again. And yes, now we can see here that public IP. I'll copy that public IP and then I'll navigate to my browser. And from there, I'll open that public uh, IP. And here I'm connected to my application. My application will, it's, will work as an eco server. So it will show me the information that it see from the client request. So this is the client request and those are all the information available there. And it will also show me the HTTP headers and so on. So I'm interested into the client request and here I'm interested in this local IP address. So this is the private IP address of the pod itself. But we have another attribute that is the remote IP address. And this is supposed to be the client IP address. So you see that here, my pod see a private IP address. So this is not coming from my client because my client, if it's going to connect through the internet, it should connect through a public IP address. However, this is a private IP address 10.22406. And actually, that is the private IP address of the, one of the nodes of the cluster. So from here, if we check kubectl get nodes o wide to get the nodes of the cluster with their private IP addresses, then we can see they are using the side range 10.224 slash zero. And that's the machine dot six is the one here. Right, so with the default configuration, client IP address is actually snatted by the Kubernetes virtual machine or the Kubernetes node. So it puts its own IP address instead of the real client IP address. Right now let's try to make a change. Let's change this cluster with local for the external traffic uh, policy. So for that, I'll just run this uh, command that will patch the service to use the new value uh, local. Once the service is patched, now I can go back to that same service and note now when I do refresh, this remote IP address that was the, a private IP, it will change. Let's do that. And yes, here we can see now a public IP address. That's the public IP address of my current client. So this way we can see the real client IP. Follow me next to see what will happen with an ingress controller like Nginx. Preserve the client IP address in Kubernetes using the service spec external traffic policy. This is useful for the pods or the applications that wants to retrieve the real client IP address. So with the default configuration in Kubernetes, when we create a service of type load balancer, the default value that will be used for the external traffic policy is of type cluster. This means that the client 
when it connects to the pod, that connection will go through the load balancer and then before reaching the pod, it will go through the network interface card or the ETH0, the network interface of the node. And there, a network or a SNAT operation will happen. During that SNAT operation, the real client IP address will be masked and it will be changed by the node IP address. So this means that the pod right here will see in the HTTP request, it will see the node IP address instead of the real client IP. Now if we change the external traffic policy to be local instead of cluster, then that SNAT operation will not happen and then the, the pod will be able to see the real client IP address which is that public IP address of the client. In this experiment, we can see the service type that is used here is of type load balancer and the external traffic policy was set to a cluster. With this configuration, the pod or the application here will see the following IP addresses. So it will see the remote IP address, which should be the one uh, of the client IP. It will see here the private IP address of the node instead of the real IP address of the client. However, now when changing external uh, traffic policy to be local instead of a cluster, then the pod or the application will see the real IP address of the client. It will see it as the remote IP address right here. Now what about the ingress traffic? So when using an ingress controller like Nginx, the traffic will go from the client machine into the load balancer, then into the Nginx ingress controller pods, and from there it will be routed to the application pods. With the ingress controller, once the controller gets the request, gets the customer request, it will add actually some HTTP headers. With the default mode external traffic policy, it will add those following headers like the X-Forwarder 2, host port, proto schema, and real IP. And note here for the real IP, it will put actually the private IP address of the uh, node virtual machine. So this is not really the real IP address of the client. However, now if I change the service type of the ingress controller to be using external traffic policy uh, local, then right here we'll see that HTTP headers that will be injected, they will show in X forwarded for the real public IP address of the connected customer and it will be also replicated in the X real IP. Show me in the next video in order to view a demonstration on how this works. When we use an Nginx ingress controller, the client request will go through the root balancer, then through the node virtual machine and then it will go to the Nginx ingress controller pod and from there it will be redirected to the target pod. We'll see here what will happen when we enable the external traffic policy with the values cluster and local. So with cluster which is the default mode, the ingress controller will add some HTTP headers like the X forwarded for and the X real IP. But note here, uh, they will carry actually the private IP address of the node of the cluster. But when we change that into local, those values will carry the, right, the correct or the real IP address of the connected client. And it will do that through the X real IP and through the X forwarded for headers. Let's see how that works. So here I go back to my demo environment and then I'll go to install an ingress controller like Nginx and then I'll go to make sure that I install it into a new namespace. I'll call it N ingress Nginx for example and then I'll go to run the helm install process and after that I want to make sure that deployment runs successfully so we see the ingress controller works fine and then we can see the public IP address of that new ingress controller. Next here I'll go to apply a YAML file that will create an ingress and it will expose through a service the same deployment that I have created earlier. So the ingress here will use the ingress class name nginx and it will expose that uh, service. I deploy the YAML file. Once that's done now I can go to the external IP address and from there I can access my application through that ingress and note here the pod will see the private IP address of the ingress controller pod as the remote IP address.
We can verify that if I try to get the pods dash O wide in order to view the IP address of the Nginx ingress controller pod. And as you see here, that's the address 10.244.0.215. Nginx ingress controller actually snatted client IP address. Then within the HTTP headers, we can view here the explorer.4, that's the private IP address of the uh, node virtual machine. In its turn, did snatted real client IP address. Actually, snatting here happened twice, once on the virtual machine and then on the this controller pod. Now let's go to change the service type to use the external traffic policy equal to local. For that, I'll go to run the cube control patch command in order to patch that service. And then here, if I go back to the same page and hit refresh, note the remote IP address, this one, and also the X forwarded for and the X real IP address, how they will change. So I hit refresh. And now, as you can see, the X forwarded for will carry the real public client IP address along with the X real IP. However, the remote IP address still holds the private IP address of the Ingress controller pod. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.